party because let me be honest and realistic and let me get you know I don't want to go there but let me be realistic what the APN you do for we what the APN you do for us that's what I'm talking about that's who Noble got sent for me then he got sent another one named Andre check this out this lady named Marcia he sent a girl named Marcia for me the girl cussed me out and tell me I ugly now this girl look like who did the killing y'all don't want you know what I realize with me people we there's some a set of people that we don't like face the hard facts and watch yourself in the mirror okay fine okay i'm gonna leave this out here then i'm gone this is for Doris and she fucking minions and all of them. This is what I'm gonna say. They tell you, you know, let's turn a page. I was trying to avoid y'all. I was trying to avoid y'all from telling y'all, you know, coming coming upon it because me moting a filter. Me I ain't good. You at the back of me you see while playing. I don't have a damn degree to my name. All I know for do is business. I go start a church and make my money back. But Doris, you put you and your friend. Doris, you ain't got no assets. So you don't come. Cause you owe from fucking Harry right to Harry wrong. You don't own you, you ain't got no money. You broke it you got you like what did Jamaica say? You broke it in a fucking bottle. Me, I don't know if I do all them extra things where you see you saying, well, this whatever, whatever, whatever. Mm -mm. Our black brothers and sisters are suffering by the hands of the current administration. Our black brothers and sisters are suffering because of the mentality of our own. Y'all put it up. Let's go. Toe to toe. Me, Hector, and Andrea Noble. All right? If Doris broke, if Doris was broke, that would be a step up for her. That will be a step up in life. You know somebody broke when they got to talk boast about how somebody else rich. So because this lady and me and a few others entertain the businesses with the president coming in, we must be boycott, must banish, no we must left for suffer, boycott in effect. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. Now you boycotted my business because I want to align myself with this party or I want to align myself with that party because let me be honest and realistic and let me get, you know, I don't want to go there, but let me be realistic. What do APN you do for me? What the APN you do for us? I'm gonna wait. Marie, what the APN you do for you? Y'all tell me. Cause y'all like, you know what? Y'all like to get them in this holy thing with this or whatever, whatever. This way, the regime is, 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 is it, it was nothing but killers and nothing. Who did the killing? Who did the damn killing? Who did the killing? Y'all don't want... You know what I realize with me people? We... There's some... A set of people that... We don't like face the hard facts and watch yourself in the mirror. We like to pretend. We like to pretend. We don't like watch each other and face each other in the mirror. We like to pretend. Look at yourself in the mirror and look and say, yo, what these people ever do to me? What these people ever do for me when it was in there? I visit Guyana, I could tell you. I was embarrassed. Salt. Nartis. Lodge. Easter Penitence, all the roads them 
Brock up, Brock up, through Middle Road, through the Cemetery Road, all the roads have break up, break up, break up. The Garden City, Region 4. None of the roads didn't do. Nothing got done. People went to do roads all in the bush. Oh, but let me forgive and forget. Let me, let me move on. This is what people like tell you, you know, let's turn a page. I was trying to invite y'all. I was trying to invite y'all from telling y'all, you know, coming up, coming upon it because me more think I filter. Me ain't good. Yo, at the back of me, you see, while playing, I don't have a damn degree to my name. All I know for do is business. I know for shake on. I don't know if it be come out of people's skin and get the job done. That's all I know for do. I mean, I don't know if I do all them extra things where you see, you're saying, well, this, whatever, whatever, whatever. Mm -mm. Our black brothers and sisters are suffering by the hands of the current administration. Our black brothers and sisters are suffering because of the mentality of our own Marie. Poverty is a mindset. We so negative that if we really, 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 really want to be honest with yourself, if you put we some we in a dark room, we're going to develop because we so damn negative. Many times you see me taking a breather, it's because I really, really don't want to tell you all a piece of my mind. I swear, I, I really don't want to, the, 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 I don't really want to, I really don't want to go there, you know, it's, it's, I, I, as much as I, I, I just got to filter certain things and just go over certain things. But let me get back to what I'm telling you. You know, everybody like, man, it gonna blow over, it gonna blow over, it gonna blow over. You know. 2%, you can check this, this is statistics, 2% of all, is only 2% a small business to survive. 2%, 2. So that means out of every 100 business, small business that open up, only 2% to survive. We we own destruction to we own. So because this lady and me and a few others entertain the businesses with the president coming in, we must be boycott, must banish, no we must left for suffer, boycott in effect, boycott in force. And this is the guy that y'all call y'all leader, whoever, whoever. And then to hear somebody just, obviously they don't have no business at all. They don't have, they don't have no idea how business work and they don't know how, nothing about business. I guarantee you, Mark has never, wrapped himself into a business. Because if you do that, you would never preach them kind of things. This by God thing hit in the streets. This by God thing that people pick in sides. This by God in Brooklyn has divided the ground in Brooklyn. Everybody taking their side, choosing their favorite restaurant, that the people who they going by and who they spending their money with. We just heard that side of the conversation. And here at Delta 9 Media, we make sure that we bring it to the neutral point. And how we bring it to the neutral point is we just give you the information from both sides. And we know that Guyanese got sense and they are gonna decipher what's going on. And we got people on this channel here. We just heard that side of the conversation. And here at Delta 9 Media, 
we make sure that we bring it to the neutral point. And how we bring it to the neutral point is we just give you the information from both sides. And we know that Guyanese got sense and they're gonna decipher what's going on. And we got people on this channel here who are very educated and who are gonna give educated adult comments that's gonna help us to move forward on this topic and have some type of social commentary about it so that we could come from a place of understanding when it comes down to what's going on here. We're gonna hear a bit of what Nature Boy has to say right now because as you can see from the thumbnail, he's coming from the other side of the way because this thing gone into the streets and Nature Boy got some choice words for anybody on the other side. Nature Boy is ready to go and this is where he got to say right now about what's going on with the boy cut in the streets of Brooklyn. Because of who? Because of the rumble in Brooklyn that happened when Ali visited Brooklyn just a couple of weeks ago. One love. If you haven't already, thumbs up the video. Thumbs up the video and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. I'll catch you in the next flight. That's what I'm talking about. That's who Noble got sent for me. Then he got sent another one named Andre. Check this out. This lady named Marcia. He sent a girl named Marcia for me. The girl cussed me out and tell me I ugly. Now this girl look like... <laughs> if I was to tell this girl look like Miss Piggy, I would be giving her a fucking compliment. A girl named Marcia. Claim is she, Andrea is your brother. She look like Miss Piggy. This girl go message me and tell me I ugly and I jealous of she brother cause she brother got properties and all this. I mean got nothing. Okay, fine. Okay? I'm gonna leave this out here. Then I'm gone. This is for Doris and she fucking minions and all of them. This is what I'm gonna say. I will put up all of my properties. I will put up all of my bank accounts. I will put them all up. And I will go toe to toe against your favorite auntie man. And I will put my assets and my financial assets up against him. And whoever has the most, big bank, take little bank. Any day. Doris, you want to talk about you friend rich and this and that? Let's go. Any day. Me. If I lose my money, I go start a church and make my money back. I go start a church and make my money back. But Doris, you put you and your friend. Doris, you ain't got no assets. So you don't come. Because you owe from fucking Harry right to Harry wrong. You don't own, you, you ain't got no money. You broke it than you you like what the Jamaicans say you broke it than a fucking bottle. So you I ain't, I ain't, I ain't even bringing you in this. But let's put my bank accounts, my assets up against your favorite any day of the week. Y'all put it up. Let's go. Toe to toe. Me, Hector, and Andrea Noble. All right? If Doris broke, if Doris was broke, that would be a step up for her. That would be a step up in life. You know somebody broke when they got to talk, boast about how somebody else rich. You ever hear me boasting about anybody rich? It's only when you broke you got boss about somebody else being rich. <laughs> me friend rich. Me friend got money. Me friend got this. Me friend got that. That's what they got boss about. Me friend. Me friend got this. Me friend got that. You can't talk about me friend. Me friend got the house them. Me friend them got the businesses. Me friend got this. Okay. All right. Your friend has all that. What do you have? Don't worry about what I got. Let me talk about what my friend got. 
100% wildcrafted sea moss from nature by natives. Why pay more? Do not belittle these people. Do not destroy their character. Do not assassinate their character by saying they are puppets and stooges and they were paid and their businesses should be boycotted.